14 unbeaten. Can we make it 15? All right, hello, and welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button, hit subscribe, because it really does, it really does make a difference to the channel. We're here this evening to talk about the upcoming game at Loftus Road. We are up to London for the final away game of 2023, and also we're going to look back at the recent result back at home, 5 wins on the bounce at home uh which we have many to talk about there you will notice that i am on my own i am on my own the, the chaos of christmas has kicked in and um jack forgot he had family coming over so here we are here we are it's gonna be a brief show tonight um because it's just me i have also just put up a link in the member section if anyone wants to join and have a chat about current goings on at southampton fc or anything else you've got to chat about in regards to future upcoming games then you're more than welcome to do so um that link is in the member section on the youtube account uh we are for the first time as well i think live on instagram but i don't know if it's worked so if anyone out there is watching on instagram live uh let me know how that's going um or if it's, i can just see a frozen screen over there so i'm not that confident that that's working but here we are anyway hope everyone's doing well let me know where you're watching the show from it's fun to know nothing too specific that would be weird uh right let's say hello to a few people in there chloe it's her birthday oh my goodness happy birthday to you chloe uh let me know of course what you thought about the game the four nil win um at st mary stadium i thought it was a rather impressive scoreline I still thought the first half was was a little bit frustrating, um, if if I'm honest. Um, but uh, but there we go. You can't you can't even be happy after a four 0 win. What what you've been playing at? Um, you would have also seen on the channel we did a QPR preview with Hoopsa. Um, some great insight from a QPR fan who was talking all about their new manager Marty Sifuentes, um, talking about their recent run of form. Uh, looks like they're going for some high pressing football, uh, which will be interesting to see um, because I also think it will do us some favours. Uh, but we'll, we will get on to that. We will get on to that indeed. Uh, but first of all, I wanted to chat about the uh, Blackburn Rovers game and give a few shout outs to some stars on the pitch really uh so let's bring in the lineup here of course i'm using the fan hub app if you haven't got fan hub there's a code to jump the queue over there on the top corner mat dash x z6 free to join and i've i've actually just spent some fan fee on check this out a new hat isn't that nice isn't that nice complete for free Love that. Not because it, not because it's sponsored in any way, but I just use my fan fee to, to spend on that. Anyway, lovely stuff. Um, so I'm going to give a huge shout out to uh, pretty much everyone on the pitch. I thought Shea Adams had a bit of a quiet game up front, but we kind of started to play with uh, uh, without an out and out striker really. So it was kind of interesting to see that. Um, great to have Flynn Downs back. Um, Jamesbury had a fantastic game. Uh, was really, really pleased with with that performance. And, of course, to see Jack Stevens come back into the squad, um, coming up uh, for a Harwood Bellis substitution in the second half just to get some game time. Incidentally, he was playing in the under-21s um, game last night. thought he had a pretty decent game, apparently, um, but I'm not sure how the balls the under-21s work. I thought it was close to 41, but, um, but there we go. There we go. Uh, Jamesbury had a great game. Cole Capitas again had a great game. Baz had a great game. Probably didn't have a lot to do. Um, but all in all, I think everyone could be rather pleased with their performances. Um, yeah, very, very happy with that. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I, yes, indeed. I did love Charlie's celebration apology. Uh, that was quite amazing. Um but hey, if you can't try that stuff when you're two and all up with uh, against ten men, when can you try it? So, but I thought his attitude in terms of uh, apologising to the fans was uh, was was pretty special. I enjoyed that. 
Uh, Ethan here saying James Breed played amazing, should start more often. Yep, certainly agree with that. I think um, uh, that that position in, in that right back position, I mean, obviously, with Carl Walker Peters playing in either right or left back, it kind of just opens up a bit. To, to have a bit more of an option there. And I think James Bree probably more comfortable in the right-back position, but had a, a very, very good game. So it wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we if we see him start on Sunday. Tom is asking, am I going to Norwich New Year's Day? I didn't quite get away with that one, but that is a long, long way to go. Uh, Jenny Williams saying the penalty, outrageous. Uh, it was all right in the end. It was all right in the end. Uh, I can believe the stick he got from the Blackburn players as well as he as he walked away from that. That was a bit harsh. How dare you try something audacious? Um, there we go. Uh, shout out to all the members in the chat section. Thanks, thank you so much for all your support. Uh, there is a link in the members section should you want to join uh, any stage in the stream. Like I said, it's going to be a quick one tonight because it's just me. Um, I pretty much got through. All of what I was going to say on QPR on the uh, on the on the opposition preview. Um, I also did uh, one on Hoops's channel as well, which you can check out. So um, we'll we'll see about that. Um, as long as he can have Manning back for free, a lot of people were saying like we, how we got him on a free and still felt ripped off. But there we go. Um, so say so same New Year's Day wasn't. Not granted to. <laughs> yeah. We try. We try. Was not. There we go. Makes sense now. Makes sense indeed. Right then. Let's have a chat about our oppositions. Now, QPR have been on a interesting run of form. They do find themselves on the lower end of the table. Uh, that something is going to favour us, I think, in the run that we've got over the Christmas period. That our average position of the opponents is a lot lower than those other clubs around us. So um, arguably, we should be looking at getting more points than those around us. I know uh, Leeds have a game against Ipswich on Saturday, which I think is going to be a fascinating one. Um, I thought Ipswich kind of looked a little bit, not average, uh, against Norwich, but I guess Norwich were lucky to, to walk away with a point. But they did show some uh, fragilities, I think, within that. So who knows? Who knows? Anything can happen over this busy period. And of course, this does start a rather interesting run of how many games? It four games in ten days, which is absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, it's mad to think that we actually want Leeds to win that game. But you're right, we do. Um, because we want to make it realistic to catch those above us. Because we're level on points for Leeds, so all we have to do is match those and score way more goals than we already are doing. Um, so there we go. Uh, right, let's have a look at the league position of QPR, which is what I was trying to go for here. It's much easier when I've got someone to bounce off on the other side of this screen. There we go. There we go. Here we are. Here we are. Um, so QPR currently find themselves in the relegation spots. Um, after playing 22 games, they won five, drawn five, and lost 12. The opposing fixture of this, we won 2-1. Um, probably should be more convincing than the 2-1, but it was during that period where we were just finding our feet at St. Mary's. And um, I think what Connor from Hoopsa was telling me is that we'll be facing a very different sort of opposition this time uh, as they are now going for a high press uh, style of football, which I quite like the sound of, if I'm honest, because it, it basically means they're going to go for it. Or are they? That will be the question. Will they actually go for it in terms of um, uh, how they're going to come at us on Saturday? Or are they going to sit back and try and defend for their lives? Now, you'd think being at home... They should be really going for it. So I kind of think this might poise to make quite an interesting game of football. Um, could be famous last words and be a nil-nil. I don't want to curse it. But I think if QPR are going for a high-press style of football, then, yeah, 
kind of nice uh thank you so much for the new members joining isaac thank you so much for the support really do appreciate it. and thank you also to add as well gifting uh, a membership thank you so much really appreciate that very much appreciated thanks so much for the support um right then so shall we get on to who i think is going to start on saturday i think that's probably the right thing to do actually i could i could have added where the table was to this look look we can see where the table is look look at me with a table um just having a look where we are in a position currently in fourth as we know level one points with leeds united but of course the goal difference meaning that we are in fourth as opposed to third but the top two this is a crazy thing when you compare what the rest of the seasons uh lister and Ipswich are having it's just crazy absolutely crazy so i really do hope that they start to mess it up i watched leicester against uh birmingham on monday night and that that game was silly it, re it really was um it uh some of their players are are insane and, and i think when they're when clubs in the championship are talking about going up against premier league opposition you can kind of say that with with leicester um i think they, they really do the quality but I don't think we're that bad. All we need is now an out killer striker. And we are kind of that outfit. You know, we are playing some great football times. So um, who knows? A lot of games we played. Right, let's move on to... This is seamless, isn't it? Jack does send his apologies. It was an honest mistake. And these things happen. I thought about cancelling the show, if I'm honest. But then I thought, do you know what? Let's just have a chat. Let's just get on with it anyway. Um, right. Let's go into the predicted lineup. As I said before, uh, the, if you want to play along at home um, and jump on and use the Fan Hub app, there's a free code in that top corner there uh, for you to log in. Um, like I said, you can log into games, whether you're watching at home or traveling away, and it counts up your miles, and you can earn fan fee, and it's all completely free, and uh, get loads of free stuff. It's a lot of fun. Uh, right, let's get into predicting the lineup. Here we go. It's a bit more seamless now. Okay, so let us know in the chat section who you're going to go for in this. Um, I'm going to start punching in my suggestions for uh, these positions. I'm going to go Bazuno and Goal because that's an absolute given. An amazing game again. Didn't have a lot to do. And honestly, I think it's going to be unchanged. I think this game's going to be uh, a tougher game than the Swansea one. I don't want to give any disrespect to Swansea, but, you know, we've kind of made St. Mary's a bit of a fortress. So um, I'm, I'm kind of going with that. Let me see here. So I'm going to go with... There's going to be no surprises in here. I might just throw something in here just to... Just to confuse everyone uh, that's in the back pairing interesting with uh everton wanting more game time for mason holgate but i don't think that's going to change our suggestions but you could see some rotation so it wouldn't surprise me if we saw mason holgate on boxing day that would be my given i'm going to go with james Bree. need to learn james Bree's number so i can find him quicker there we go sorry james James Bree gets a goal now. I'm going to have to get a James Bree shout, aren't I? I said it live. Um, Chalky said about Stevens. Um, Stevens played in the under 21s last night. So I actually think that whether or not that was a, a something that will get him up to speed, I don't know. I don't know. I just get the feeling that he's just trying to get in game time um, to work with on that regard. So. We might see him, but I think this this busy, festive period, I think there'll be rotation. So maybe we're going to see a partnership of Harwood Bellis and Bednarik away at QPR and a pairing of Mason Holgate and Jack Stevens against Swansea. And then another rotation for Plymouth on Friday. Um, of course, Plymouth got a new... Uh, 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 without Mr. Schumacher now, he's gone to Stoke. So who knows what kind of a setup there'll be. 
the craziness of the championship. Right, I forgot which position I'm picking. Where am I? Walker Peters. I'm looking for Carl Walker Peters. There we go. No surprises going on in there. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'm going to go with Smallbone. I'm going to go with Mr. Flynn Downs. So good to have Flynn Downs back at the weekend. Oh, my goodness. Aribo did a job, but I think it was a, a more of a physical presence of a job um, in a Coventry game. There we go. Pop that in there. And I'm going to go for Dozy down here. A lot of people were asking why Carl Walker Peters was on the left back position and I think it's just because he can play either side very very well but I also think he can link up quite well with uh, Sam Adozi on that side uh, with a lot of the crossovers and there's a bit more pace going on so that when Carl Walker Peters does push on down the wing he doesn't find himself too exposed so that would be that would be my logic behind that one um, Delgale 86 so Steven subbed off yeah, subbed on again. I think not fully up to it yet. Yeah, it's going to take time. I remember when he went off injured. Incidentally, he actually got injured in the home game against QPR. That's how long he's been out for. So, yeah, it wouldn't be surprised me if he's he's eased in, especially considering what's happened with Ross Stewart as well. Right, I'm in that position where I've forgotten which. So, yeah, I'm over here. Jolly good. Jolly good. Who am I going to go for? Mm. I'm going for Sam Adozi on this side here. Where's Adozi? <laughs> they couldn't make these numbers any bigger. I'm going to go for... Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to give a rebo. Mike's mad. He's putting on a rebo. No, I like a rebo. Very physical. Did well against Blackburn. Uh, it's got to be Stuart Armstrong. Quietly going under the radar. That's one of the best players in the championship. As we quietly say, he's too good for this league. And it's got to be. Captain Fantastic, Adam Armstrong. Uh, super sub, I'm going to go for... Do you know what? I'm going to be utterly rogue here. Go for second round. Booking bonus. He's not even on the pitch, so I'm still going to go for Charlie Alcaraz. Where am I? Where am I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. There we go. Let's see if the chat section agrees with it. Everyone goes, you're at the mad. Da, 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 da. By the way, can everyone see if we're on Instagram? I'm going to have a quick look on this phone. I'm curious. Is it working? Oh my goodness, it's on. I'm going to have a quick look on this phone. No way. Okay, we're live on Instagram, everyone. How about it? Actually worked. That's nuts. Okay, stay calm. Stay calm. Um, right, let's have a look at the chat session and see how everyone's feeling. Um, Chalky is saying, Adozi said he defends better than Lavia, so Carl Capitas is left back. Adozi should cover defensively when Carl Capitas joins the attack. Yeah, I think we, we saw a lot of that. Um, Adozi was great at tracking back. Um, got a goal in those last two games. I think uh, it's it's a hard shout for him not to be um, included in that. I think it would be very tough for for anyone to argue his position uh, shouldn't stay there. Um, and he's saying, I still think Shannon's will be off in January. Only thing that may hinder that is Ross Stewart's new injury. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. I think. Um, Shay will be going um, regardless. I th I, I'd be utterly amazed um, if he stays. 
Uh, he has six months left on his contract. So really, it's within the club's interest to move him on um, or have him sign a new contract. That would be the, the only two options. And um, he's not been prolific. He's not had much game time. Um, actually, he's had a fair bit of game time. That's, that's not entirely true. So, um, so yeah, but I, I think that one will be happening. Isaac here is saying, is Shea a big loss really, though? Depends. Really depends. Um, if Shea goes and Sekamara leaves because he's looking for um, uh, more regular football, um, then, yeah, we, we have a problem unless we, we invest in, in, a, in another option. I think if Shea goes, we, we will be looking at another option. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see wait and see what happens. But potentially, you know, here we are again, going to a transfer window. And, uh, yeah, looking for a striker. Been here before, haven't we? We have been here before. Um, we need to buy a striker anyway, yeah. Chloe said, I'd take 15 million for Shea. I think that number is going to be closer to seven, maybe less. That might sound uh, painful, but uh got six months left on this deal. So, um, yeah. It's either going to be going for free in the summer or we, we cash in now. Um, but, yeah. So, any strong feelings towards my lineup here? I think everyone's generally... Um, Peter saying the team graphics are rubbish. Do you know what? They are a little small. I grant you that. Uh, we are working uh, with FanHub to try and get us a desktop option of this. Uh, let me see if I can I make it bigger. Full screen layout. Does that work? No, it just just removes me. That doesn't work at all. Um, but no, that is a good shout. We'll work on it. We just had to work on the numbers, Peter. Sorry, Peter, but you're right. Yeah, let's make them. The, let's make the names a different colour. Um, Kai saying, really worried that we lose Carl Peters in January. Keeping him as key. Yep. Yeah, I think that's. Um, I think that's a lot of our worry. Um, that if it happens, it happens. But I, I think. Um, to keep until the end of the season would be would be smart. It depends what options come up, really. Um, but I do do worry about West Ham. Um, they were asking about Charlie. Yeah, I think you probably could see maybe Charlie mixing it up within somewhere within that midfield or switching these around and actually having Charlie up here. In this position, you could see that. Do you know what? I'm going to do that. Yep. Yep. Because I think that um, we're going to be going for a win here on Saturday. Oh, oh I just lost. Small bone. Small bone or. Shay Charles, who are we thinking? Tony Hughes is coming back. <laughs> I'm going to call it. I'm going to change my mind again and go for Shay Charles because we haven't got a rebo in there now. So I prefer that. Maybe like this. Maybe. Just making pictures now, aren't I? That's all I'm doing. There we go. Oh, lots of people going for small bone. Am I going to have to make a switch? Really? Do we think small bone? All right. There we go. Excellent stuff. 
Right, I'm locking that in. I am locking that in. Save. And if you wanted to save your um, lineups and then share them and tag them us on Instagram, uh, we can then uh, switch, uh, share them on our Instagram and see if we're all in agreement of that. There we go. Lovely stuff. Um, Jake's name is Switch Bree and Carl Peters. I just, I just think Carl Peters because he can play on the left, um, and we're not overly confident with with Manning on the left and James Bree on the right. It kind of works, works right. Yeah, that's why. That's why. Um, okay, right. Let's move on to my favorite part of the show. Well, I, I'm going to discuss with myself what I think the score is going to be. Now, I did actually allude to what I think the score is going to be on the Hoops channel, and I actually went for. I went for a two nil. I went for a two nil. Out of respect, I was on someone else's channel. I wanted to go three nil. Do I think we can get in three? Yes. I'm going to change it. Sorry, Hoopster. I'm going to change it. I'm going to go 3 0 Saints. That is what I'm going for. And I'm going to imagine what Jack will go for. And I'm going to put his score in the banner as well. See if anyone can guess what I'm going to go for. He was, he was so impressed that actually the score prediction he gave on Saturday against, Birmingham, uh, against Blackburn was. Uh, was more than he suggested. He's, he's he made his suggestion look, look rather modest. Right, I've locked it in. Is there any guesses to see what everyone thinks Jack's going to put? <laughs> Isaac absolutely smashing it. There we go. I think Jack would say fine now. I should I should have messaged him. He's busy. He's busy with family stuff. It's Christmas time. Time to be with the family. Um, right, let's go through the score predictions. Of course, I've given mine. I'm going to go for a 3 0 Southampton win. Um, I think after scoring four, we're going to be firing on all cylinders. And with the style of football that QPR should be playing, high pressing football, um, kind of leaves it open. So I do like the sound of that. Do like the sound of that. Right, let's go for. Where do you start? Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us live. Of course, if you are watching us on replay, be sure to stick in your thoughts on the game and your score predictions in the comment section. We can keep the conversation going that way. Um, if you're watching live as well at the moment, be sure to smash that like button. It really does, really does make a difference to the channel. Um, right, let's start with Crazy Luke. Uh, it's going for a 3 1 Saints. Sangatilli is going for a 2 0 Saints. I'm liking this. Ethan is going for a 3-1 Southampton. Doesn't think we're going to get clean sheets. Let us know the scorers in the chat section as well. Uh, Graham is with me. He's going for a 3-0 Saints. Uh, Dega saying, we've got our scoring boots on now. Uh, he's going for a 3-0 uh, member of the channel. Isaac is going for a 3-1. I have some nerves, but mostly confident. Um... Chris Luke again, 3 1 Saints. Uh, Jack will go for four now. I think he'll go for five. I think he'll go for five. Uh, Chloe, uh, happy birthday for tomorrow. It's going for a 3 0 Adam Armstrong for all three. Um, I said, say with Jack's four, five now, four now, four one for Jack. Uh, Josh, no relation to Adam Lamore. It's going for 3 0 Saints win. Loving this confidence. It's great. Uh, Crazy Luke again, putting it as 3-1. We've got it. We've got it, Crazy Luke. Um, good evening, Mary. See you, Daniel. Oh, look at this. We have someone joining. Fantastic stuff. Uh, right. Uh, and he's going for a Saints 4. Loving this. Saints 4, QPR 1, Adam Armstrong for 2. Um, Stuart Armstrong and a rare one from Downs. Yeah, we are due a from Downs. Um, Daniel is going for a 2-1 fantastic loving that uh, Oliver Gray is going for a 3-0 Adozi Adam Armstrong and Carl Walker Peters um, Josh has put his scores in there Adozi Armour and Charlie 
I love Charlie when he scores because his celebrations are always just so passionate. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Um, Chris is on the stream. How are you doing, Chris? Were you at the game last night? Let us know. Uh, he hasn't been mentioned for ages, so I'm, I'll admit I saw Don Ballard on crutches at the under-21 match. Steve Wood last Friday, also 2-0 Saints on Saturday. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, seen Don Ballard. Um, Singer Tully's going for, uh, uh, well, let's give him the scorers. Chalky's going for 1 0. Stuart Armstrong. Graham's putting in the scorers. Carl Peter Stu Fraser to score. Whew. Lee's going for a 4 0. Back to back 4 0s. Oh, I'd love that. I'd love that. Um, Gotham's going for a 1 0 Southampton. Peter's going for a 3 0, and Dale Gales reckon it's going to be an Adam Armstrong hat trick within that 3 0. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely love it. Good stuff. There we go. Right, we have someone joining um, to have a chat. All things Southampton. Let me bring up a banner so we can see what we're chatting about. Actually, it doesn't matter because I don't know what we're chatting about because I haven't invited him on yet. Right, Isaac, how are we doing? I'm doing good. Are you, sir? Good. Yes, not too bad. I've been quite lonely tonight, so thank you so much for joining. Um, and uh, so, have you have you found the, the results recently? We were, were you at the game on Saturday? Uh, I wasn't. No. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah, generally happy with the four goals. Yeah. Um, it's funny. Like we we've been moaning about how non-clinical they've been, and then you know we win four nil, and we're still looking at the game, going, "Oh, we could have scored six or seven. You know. <laughs> Yeah. Just find it quite true. ironic. Yeah, you know we haven't true. we haven't scored what? So we scored four goals at home against Norwich when we drew four all. Mm -hmm. The last time we beat someone with four goals at home was Brentford four one, wasn't it? I think. True. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's pretty pretty rare for us to get four goals. Yes, I mean it was two 0 until like the ninety fifth minute. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what so, you're saying. It's, uh, uh, Seku Mara scored in the 97th, didn't he? Oh, oh so right, yeah. even later. So, then. yeah, 99th yeah. was the four. It, it made for um, the most interesting end of game commentary I've, I've ever had to do. I don't think we've ever had like <laughs> two goals interrupt what I was chatting about with Jack. So, I mean, yeah. I didn't mind it. I loved it, you know. So, more, more, more for it, please. That'd be fantastic. Are you confident of the game ahead? Keep you Most, off the mostly, yes. I'm hoping they play pressing football because I actually think that would be better for us than if they were Agreed. to sit back. Yep, um, 100%. The way we've been passing out the back, apart from Coventry, if you exclude Coventry from the mix, I think our passing out from the back has been pretty exceptional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it's terrifying. It is it's been, terrifying, yeah. yes, but we do it well most of the time. Yeah. Um, I think West Brom was a highlight for me, that game, oof. We passed out like champions. Yeah. Um, so I think if if they if they press us, I think we could win this three four nil. I think if they sit back, we could be in for a bit of a mm. a gash tastic game of football. Really, it yeah, could be yeah. very side to side, which is why I think Charlie should start over a Rebo. Okay. Yeah, it's a good shout. So, Try and uh, get in amongst it. Speed do, is going to be a bear. If we do play against a pressing QPR, I think Adam Armstrong will get a couple. Mm -hmm. If we don't, I think it'll be a dozy or someone like that who gets a goal because a dozy's been really good lately. Yeah, yeah. I think the the West Brom game they they played quite a high line against us, didn't they? And uh, yeah, they did. Yeah. Adam Armstrong found found quite a bit of space there. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, just generally watching Southampton play, I do always get terrified about how how high we play up the pitch. So it'd be interesting to see where the, where the game ends up um, when we're in possession. Uh, which we will have a lot of it, so it just depends on on how how QPR come at us if they do. Um, but uh, but yeah, slow slow steady build up. Let's hope we can we can get plenty of goals on there. Yeah, cool. And, and the festive period, you feeling confident looking at the games after QPR, Swansea, uh, Plymouth? Ooh, what have we got? So Swansea at home, we should win that. It should yeah. be fairly comfortable. Plymouth at home, again, we should win that. Uh, mm. Norwich away. Depends how Norwich play, I think, because we could score five or six past them with how bad their defence are. Yeah. But we could also concede three or four. So 
yeah. it, who knows? That that one's a bit of a topsy turvy, but I think our next three games for certain we need to win because I, I don't think Leeds will drop points at Ipswich. You think Leeds are going to win that? I think they'll win it or they they get a 2 2 draw. And I think actually a draw is better for us because if Ipswich lose and Leeds win, mm-hmm. they then go, they then continue to stay above us. Yeah. Plus, they haven't lost any of their goal difference. So it's sort of like, I don't know. I think if Leeds beat Ipswich, they'll then go on a run because they don't have many tough games after that. No. So, Although Leeds think... have been frustrated recently. I think they that, that loss against Sunderland away. Um, That's true, yeah. I thought they struggled on that one. And then just uh, the last result was, was that a draw? Another, another draw? Or if I'm... I don't know. <laughs> come on, come on. So just Jack, usually, Jack would usually. know. He would. He'd be doing the research while I'd be waffling on. Yeah. But, um, but there we go. But Isaac, thank you so much for joining. What's your score prediction for this weekend's game, by the way? I said 3-1. 3-1. I didn't put my goal scores in. I, I could try and <laughs> I can try and guess. I find goal scores really hard. <laughs> you'll you'll um, keep those cards to your chest. I'll tell you what, Adam Armstrong. Uh, I think Adozi will get another one. Okay. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what, for Jack, Bazunu goal. <laughs> he would absolutely love that yeah. we'd all love it it'd be fantastic I'll fantastic. put a Twix on it <laughs> there we go a Twix on, on Bazunu getting the goal yep. that'd be that'd be a nice Christmas present for him he'll absolutely love that fantastic cool. all right. good stuff alright Isaac yes, thanks for right. that see you in a bit catch you soon see ya Bye. there we go thank you so much for that Isaac is going for a Bazunu goal um it's going to get that golden boot and the golden glove. That's what we're going for. Um, Chris was at the end of 20 year game last night. Watch out for Ali Gomez Rodriguez, 15 year old striker, played an impressive 20 minutes as a sub last night, and 15 year old Harrison Miles, very impressive in centre mid. Well, we do need a striker, so um, maybe we already have one. Um, is he first team ready, though? Is he first team ready? Let's hope so be good to see um let's see luke's saying we can't complain because everyone i took the chances it would be 22 3 <laughs> it's a good point uh keep your eyes have three players top joint top scorers with only three each so we have to win this yeah they haven't been scoring a lot um and they failed to break down 10 man plymouth at home so I think the secret to this game is score first. Score first, score early, um, get the ground uh, turned on the home support, or get the home support turning on the team. And uh, yeah, go with that. Leeds drew with Coventry. You're absolutely right, they did. And they were at home, weren't they? I think they were at home. Um, are we going to keep you out? Yes, we are. Um, yes, we are. And uh, it's my dear wife's birthday. And I'm still able to go. So, um, yeah. Thanks, love. Thanks so much for that. Um, I have to make up with that. Um, let's see. Call Isaac. If they draw, uh, we can go third and make up ground. It's just assuming we win, which I am, of course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Chris was saying, good to see Jack Stevens come through 45 minutes at the end of 20. was nice too. Yeah. Did he did he get subbed off? Is he subbed off at half time? Absolutely, Chloe. We will be top row, uh, top section, second row, near the middle. Come say hello. Get your score prediction done early. Um, right, I am going to close. I can't believe I've been chatting by myself for forty minutes. Good job, everyone. Thanks for sticking by me. Um, it's been a it's been a fun one. Um, final question to everyone. I'm going to put it in the banner. Because this rumour is flying around. And it and it probably will do throughout all of January. I'm, I'm seeing lots of rumours about uh, an Argentine winger from Juventus. They need to balance the books. But I, I think we can park that in the um, uh, Cody Gapo. Um file uh, i don't think that's happening uh the the idea that we spend 30 million in the championship going for automatics and we we don't break the bank in the premier league 
That'd be mad. But I'm going to give you this question. I'm going to do it in a better format way. Okay, ready? The questions come in. Are you feeling it? Danny Ings, yes or no? Very simple question. Let me know in the comment section. Would you like to see Danny Ings back at Southampton? Is it something that will excite you? Or would you be worried that we just have another one in the physio room? Which is what I think would happen, if I'm honest. I'm not particularly excited about it, but I'm sure plenty would. Oh, it's been a go. Palace has scored against Brian. Sorry for anyone that was had that on pause. Um, and he said, no concern, we lost our set piece close. Mm. Of course, it's concerned whenever you lose a coach of any degree uh, to a managerial position. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if that's only only Russell Martin know how much of a loss that was. Um, saying it's a saying waste of money, no chance. Uh, Clary's going for yeah. Barry says yes. Uh, I think it definitely would be a loan, or would it? I'd be worried if it wasn't the loan. I think it would be a loan if it was anything. I mean, I, I do hate it for another reason because I think it might have something to do with some of our other players. Uh, so again, Tilly saying yes. Chalky saying yes. Floppy saying no. Luke saying yes. Isaac saying yes. Swap for Shay. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. That's that's yeah. Oh, I like that. Weirdly like that. That's a great deal. Andy, get on the phone to the club. That's a night. That's a brilliant idea. Um, Ethan saying yes, but potentially a loan. Uh, Lee saying no. Already got an ninja strike. Is that? That's my point. That's my point. But I'm just wondering with the style of football we're playing, that maybe he wouldn't have to run around like crazy so much. Maybe it suits us. Maybe it suits him. Um. Peter saying West Ham fans seem to hate Ings, but still worth a punt. Yeah. Well, I mean, your shirt. <laughs> Great name for a channel. Uh, no, he just get injured again. Uh, yes, he went on physio. Um, hello, Manchester United supporter. Um, fun stuff. Uh, maybe on loan, see how it goes. I like this swap idea for Shea. Out of favour striker for an out of favour striker. Uh, but lots of people saying about the uh, yeah this this is about I'm worried about so much stuff I'm not going to say it out loud no offense Luke but I don't want to say those words out loud because that's what I'm concerned for um no chance for going Italian winger Ings yes with reservations I think you just summed it up perfectly yep nailed it that right there. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> what for do you do? Support Southampton. You've stumbled across the Southampton fan channel. Welcome. Are you sure you're happy with your decision to support Man United? Just saying. Um, <laughs> I know the, the clue was in the name, um, but all are welcome on this channel. All are welcome. All are welcome. But there we go. Um, 45 minutes. I think we've had enough of me waffling along. Thank you so much to everyone who's joined. Of course, if you are watching on replay, be sure to stick in your comments and thoughts on the game um, in the comment section. Uh, we'll keep the conversation going that way. Um, to everyone that's joined me here live, um, thank you so much. I see smash that like button because it really does make a difference to the channel. Me and Jack will be going up to the game. We're heading up on the train. Saturday morning off to Loftus Road. So if you're about the game, then um, come say hello. Uh, it'd be great to get more people involved in Saturday's vlog. It's the last away for the year. So I'm hoping to see lots of funky, fancy dress costumes. Um, I don't think I'll be in fancy dress, but it's always fun to see them. 
and uh, see the away faithful out on the road singing the Southampton. Uh, but again, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. As always, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, me, and hopefully Jack next time, uh, we'll see you. Where's my outro? There it is. We'll see you in the next one. All right, cheers. See you.